Hello everybody, my name is Seth Lockjaw and I am a proud resident here at Hard Alley Sim. Um, due to a lot of new residents coming directly here to Hard Alley, like, you know, on their first week or so, and not knowing very much about um, Hard Alley, about Second Life, about um, picking up boys and, you know, other uh, other men and women in SL, um, etc. I've decided to start a basic SL 101 series for some of the more mature people, um, you know, people that are looking for adult sims, um, people that are just starting out in SL that just need a little, a little help. Um, so today is going to be the first episode. I'm going to teach you how to um, open up boxes. You know, a lot of us get freebies, we get new stuff. Um, we'll go into one of these stores like Danica, Bamboo, you know, Tribal Bamboo, um, Black Rose, and then like the large place behind me. Um, that will take about a minute to turn around to because I'm running a camera program at the same time that I'm running Second Life. Mother Funkin, which is one of our new stores here. Um, you're going to go into one of those stores and buy something or get a freebie item or something like that that's in a box and you're sitting there looking at this box in your, a in your inventory um, which you can open with Control I or down here at the little suitcase on Firestorm <laughs> and you're going to look at this and go, there's a little box in my inventory. What in the hell am I supposed to do with that shit? Well, let me tell you what to do with that shit. <laughs> now, at the current moment, I didn't buy any new, um, any new clothing. So I'm going to use the Who is Who and SL Porn full pack that I received in front of the Hardcore Sex and Strip Club over here. <clears throat> um, so we're going to use that as an example of what I'm talking about. So I just bought this. What am I supposed to do with this? Hmm. Well, first off, what you do, well, after I close that so you don't see that. <laughs> so, uh, so what you do first is you take this box right here. You highlight it by just clicking on it. And then you click, hold down your mouse key and drop onto the ground. In about 10 minutes, <laughs> well, okay, for usually it shows up rather quickly, um, but you're going to have that on the ground, and at, because I'm running a rather large program behind this, it's going to take a little while for it to rest. So we're just going to go ahead and pretend that the box has already rest, that you can actually see what it is um, that I'm opening. You're going to right click it, and you'll have this pie chart. Well, on mine it's a pie chart. Um, on some of the other viewers it's going to show up as a menu. Um, so you have sit here, you have take, you have edit, you have open, and you have create. And then you also have touch and pay on other ones. You're going to hit more, or sorry, you're going to, uh, wow, you're going to hit open. This is going to give you the object contents right here. Um, now, because I've already opened this box, um, there's a, quite a few other things that are actually in it. But when you first get it, you're going to have um, an update system. Um, what did you get in this pack? And who's who in SL porn? Um, so you're going to have all that into there. You're going to hit copy to inventory. And poof, you open up a brand new um, folder that has everything into it. We're just going to pretend that that is the folder that just copied into there <coughs> because that's the one that came from that box. But anyway, so this box right here, this folder right here is what you just got out of that box. Um, now, because this is not clothing, 
it's not going to have the clothing items that I really should show you, but it has a magazine. But you get the idea. You just open the box. You have the stuff that's now in your inventory, so you have new stuff that you can actually wear, that you can do things with. Now, if you'll notice, the box is still there. And because um, this is not my sim, um, and I don't want to leave trash. I mean, it's like it's like drinking a soda and then throwing the, the soda can out onto the ground and leaving it there. It's, in, it, it's, it's impolite. It's discourteous. And it shows lack of regard for the place that you're visiting. You don't want to do that, right? So you want to basically pick up your, your, your soda can off of the ground and put it into the trash can, correct? Or pick it up and, and take it home to recycle. Well, in this case, what you're going to do is you're going to right-click it. And if you want to take this back into your inventory, you're going to hit the Take button right there. Um, if you want to delete it, you're going to hit More. And then you'll have Delete. You'll want to hit that. Now, because there's something in there that is no copy, um, it'll say at least one of these items you have selected is not copyable. This is the reason why if you get that and you want to keep the box, you're going to hit Take instead of Delete. In this case, I want to delete it, so I'm going to hit OK. And now you have it in your trash. Now, in order to keep your box a little bit cleaner, and I'll apologize to that guy later for not talking to him, um, if you want to keep your inventory a little bit cleaner and not end up with um, 29,069 items such as I have right here, you're going to every once in a while <laughs> empty out your trash. <laughs> so you right click trash and you hit empty trash. And you're going to get this message that says, do you really want to permanently delete the context, contents of your trash? Yes, you do. <laughs> and you'll notice that if and when SL decides to actually start responding to me. Yes, there it goes. I now have 28,000, sorry, 28,206 items in my, in my inventory. I had a few things in my trash. <laughs> so, this is your first installment of the Second Life Basics 101. And the, the quote-unquote adult version because later on I'm going to be having other episodes explaining to you whoops hello <laughs> explaining to you about lag for one thing lag is always nasty <laughs> not always here but all over SL you're going to run into that quite often welcome to Second Life um, but this is your first installment we're going to be following up later on with how to write your profile, how to read profiles, extremely important in sims such as this. Reading profiles, highly important. <laughs> I cannot beat that upside people's heads enough. Um, so we're going to be doing that. We're going to be talking about other things. How to build, I will actually start doing some building um, tutorials and stuff. And basically things to help you to be able to have a better second life. Enjoy!